like imagine like everything is silent and all of a sudden It is uh, about feeling this state of bliss together with understanding that you um, during the experience or doing, during your stay you kind of um, experience this state of bliss that comes together with understanding see it's like a sudden knowing that instead of um, having to experience this default version you know that mm, that people are providing you that you are used to already it's like this time you have this mm, access and you have this link and you have this experience of bliss you know, that's coming together with understanding so it's about um, experiencing that bliss really And there are many, many different ways to understand through this place. There are very few like examples or, or versions, you know, how it, how it, um, feels right but I'm more than certain that um, what we uh, sometimes see it's just uh, one of thousands of options how you can experience this bliss and understand For example, take a Bhagavad Gita. Now it is a very common book. Like it's a, thanks to the translators, it's easy to get it. So take the Bhagavad Gita and if you watch the picture where Krishna explains uh, Ah, this disciple, I can't spell his name, whatever. Like, he explains to this disciple that's so fascinated about God, uh, like what God is. And they're sitting on this um, carriage, you know, that goes to war against the enemies. If you look at this pe people, <laughs> one of them is Krishna. If you look at this carriage, you know, you can understand that this book, this Bhagavad Gita, for me it is on the front cover, this picture, you can understand that this book is one of thousands of similar books and you don't know where the others are, but you know it is one of many, many. And like this mystery of this, this one book, is like this only one we see, like, it's like this Krishna's book, in the middle of, of war he 
gives this speech to his disciple, you know. And it's such a huge mystery if you think about it. Uh, it is said in this book that something like once in eight trillion years, Krishna comes to this planet in this form. So you would have to wait another eight trillion years for something like that to happen again. So it is that rare, you know. Yeah. And uh, for me, um, the situation is like, um, like hard to understand a little bit because of this battle, right? But uh, Krishna understands everything about this battle, right? And because of this discipline who's asking from God, you know, about his state and about about everything really because of this question Krishna can explain and explains everything you know so so it is beautiful and and it's now we can access that book that is one of thousands of mysteries And uh, I'm, I'm not fully sure, but I think it begins with something like what did these people do when they gathered with weapons to the war place? Like it sa starts something like this. It is the question, you know, and the book starts with that question. <laughs> so it can be like, a, like someone asking like, about the situation or something. And no one can really understand it, right? Like, the more you think about it, the less you understand about the situation. Like, why would they even go to war, right? We have no clue, absolutely. Why would they do it? Yet it is, it, it is clearly said that this is what happened at that point in history. At that time. And Krishna gives his speech right before the battle, you know. Right before. And we still <laughs> don't understand anything about it. But we can, I guess we have this book now and we can get a little bit of this mystery. <laughs> so, so for me it looks like something amazing was dropped and we can look at it and search it and find out what it is. Hmm.